It was a neighbor in this Clarksville mobile home park that discovered the victim. His face was bruised and bloodied so swollen it was beyond recognition. Police say this was a brutal attack. It's why those living here say they're relieved arrests have been made. It was a September afternoon when neighbors in Wellington Green saw half a dozen police cars, but some had seen the reason they were there. Heather Hornback says it was her neighbor who discovered a young man in the yard across the street. He was just laying and barely able to move a whole lot. It's like bloodied and bruised. The victim, who lived a few doors down and had run outside for help before collapsing, later told police he'd been attacked while in the shower. But because of the severity of his injuries, it would be weeks before he could remember more, including his attackers. And ultimately, uh, that information was very helpful in getting us to the point of uh, filing the case. This week, police charged Gina Ferguson, John Hostetler, and Isaiah Lamkin, all 19 and friends of the victim. The victim, according to court documents, had threatened to share personal information about Ferguson if she didn't send him a nude photo. According to prosecutor Jeremy Mull, the trio showed up at his home armed with a gun, a knife, and a baseball bat. Mull says he was beaten within inches of his yeah, life. I say that those injuries are uh, life-threatening and the sort of things that um, uh, will affect him for a long time. It's why neighbors like Heather Hornback were so grateful to know those responsible had been arrested. It was very unsettling. We were fearful and, like I said, wondering if we were next. I want to make sure my kids and the kids I babysit are safe. In Clarksville, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.